Hello everyone, this is Orange Fingers and welcome. Check that animation now. That's top notch. Welcome to another very important video. So listen up boys and girls, mainly boys. <laughs> the show is about to start, so buckle up. I know why you clicked on this video. Well, you clicked on this video because stop cooming. Oh God, I'm cooming. Ah! Now I'm gonna tell you why cooming all the time is very bad for you. Number one, you are going to fuck up your dopamine reward system. What is the dopamine, dopamine reward system? It's basically a part of your brain that sends out dopamine when you do something um, that is pleasurable. Maybe eating, drinking, taking a piss. But in the Kumas, they have chosen to stimulate this reward system through Kuming. And over time, if they keep doing this, they will develop a habit for getting this sense of pleasure and over time it can lead to addiction if you don't stop it and after you have this addiction your dopamine level is not going to be the same as before and you will feel tired sad and basically uninterested in the normal daily activities you may not get the same pleasure from doing the same boring as daily life activities anymore that's why you may get things like depression secondly this is a hard one but i need to say it you are contributing to the degenerated imperatives uh, I'm, I try to make this less wordy, but I don't know how to, so I'm going to use fancy words instead, and I hope you will understand. But by cooming, you are advocating and normalizing the hedonistic um, lifestyle and your you're trying to normalize cooming all the time which to me feels a little bit um, empty and people who live this sort of life um, have a very I don't know very meaningless and a life of no purpose just think about it is this the way you want our society to become like you're trying to normalize cooming all the time and people will think that it's normal to coom all the time and yeah thirdly you're uh, supporting the porn industry and again if you normalize cooming people will keep doing it all the time and when there's a market, when there's a demand, there is a um, supply. People cooming cum, all the time, cooming day and night, will lead other people to um, start producing material that will lead to cooming. And this in turn, more and more people will start doing it and see it on the internet. They, they keep doing it, they think it's normal for our society to keep cooming and cooming all the time. It's like the, 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 the bonobos, they are a type of um, monkeys, apes, I don't know, that uh, coom all the time. Uh, you should look it up. I'm not going to talk anymore about those monkeys, but we are not monkeys. And the last one is a little bit of a bro science it's not actual science but it's more spiritual energy is not created nor destroyed 
energy is transformed from one form to another. Imagine kuming. You are releasing substances from your body. You are releasing your energy. I'm not here to judge you what you do with your energy, but think about it. Imagine just a little bit more energy. What could you have done with that? The National Board of NoFap Practitioners trademark NBNFP. NoFap is a regulated profession with practitioners working full time 24 7, 365 in this profession. Now I made this shit up, so don't believe it. But anyone can join, no qualification is required. What is required is pure hatred for degeneracy. I'm going to say a very bad news, and some of you out there are not gonna like it. If you have non traditional ideas about families, if you think that it's okay to just fuck around, sleep around, you know, like just having sex here and there, it doesn't matter, life is short, do whatever you want, I'm sorry you are currently recovering. But I mean, just be you, I'm just choking here. Remember, you are the one responsible for your life, not me. So, if you choose to come all the time, either through, by yourself, uh, through other people, and I don't know, like if, if that's your life, do what you want, man. You're the one responsible for your life. So, how do you become a NoFap practitioner? I'm not against cooming, but cooming all the time from your own hand is, um, it's not, nah, it's not a good thing in my book. I'm sorry. Literally, don't touch your PP. Like, literally, try to pee without touching it. If, it's it's gonna be hard. You will need a period of time to get used to this new change in your life. If you have been a chronic, if you've been suffering from chronic masturbatory syndrome, it will take a period of time. Period. So be patient. Get rid of stuff in your house that will trigger your impulse. Things like... Just look at your phone, okay. Your phone has loads of things that will trigger your impulse. TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, I don't know. YouTube, sometimes. Um, <laughs> it's, it's funny, it's ironic because you're on YouTube right now. But uh, anyways, get rid of stuff in your house that will trigger your impulse and this will require you to do a little bit of homework. You need to become self-aware. Notice how you normally fap like do you normally have dinner and then you go to your room switch off the lights and then go underneath the cover watch youtube watch a few tiktoks and try to dance that sort of things and then and then you you start doing the dirty i don't know you need to um i'm not gonna ask you to write down in your notebook or something but just be aware of it like how do you normally do it and your habits are hard to change so we need to tackle the habits <laughs> this one is a bit of a laugh but like don't it's not worth it to check people out because like like i said unless you're gonna pursue them this will just add more fuel to the fire you will have more stuff in your memory bank that will trigger your impulse like you don't even need to look at porn magazines anymore you might just remember about that lady in the office the other day and you, you might start doing it so don't if it's not worth it if you're not gonna make a, a conversation out of it then it's, it's not it's just not worth it for for this stage for your your initial um acute stage you're, you're trying to recover from this so don't even look at woman unless you got, you're gonna talk to them because you're not gonna get anything out of it and lastly 
make up an emergency memory bank and um, this I will show you in the next slide what is the the emergency memory bank is literally anything that will disgust you things that you only think about after you're not it's it's almost like a imagine like after you orgasm you always feel this sense of guilt and hopelessness like like the world is going to end it's it's, it's sort of like depression after you, you're not and famous philosophers have known to come up with clever shit after they nut. So you you are smarter after you nut normally. So if you think of things that will disgust you and make you feel guilty, um, like the triggers that will make you feel guilty, this will let your brain know that it's not worth it to nut right now as you will be faced with the unpleasant consequences that come after an orgasm. So for me, for me, I get temporary depression, hatred for women, sense of meaninglessness, and radical ideologies like shooting up schools and placing bombs and making weapons. So I know, I know yours may not be as severe as mine, but I know what comes after it. So I don't do that unless, unless it's with, um, with a purpose, I don't come. And some examples um, for your memory bank may be this, these are mine, okay? Penis fish. And this thing is real, unfortunately, and it is disgusting. And people eat these in, I don't know, in Japan? Vietnam? I don't know. They are, they're just disgusting, but and these things as well things with a lot of holes this is self-explanatory I'm pretty sure most of you would hate looking at these that's a Surinam toad uh, toad's back right there it's just disgusting the eggs the eggs are in those holes and the little tadpoles they, they hatch and they, they come out of the pores on, on their mother's back and it's disgusting and this one, my favorite, Randall. You know Randall from Monsters Incorporated? Guess what the Chinese did to him? That's just delicious, hey. And people with gross feet. Imagine looking at that and think about kuming. You will never kum with that image in your mind. And literally anything else you can think of. This can also be a tragedy you've been involved in, like an accident, witness something that just gross you the fuck out, like, like um, like an accident at at the skate park or something. Like you, you split open your knee and you can see your kneecap, but uh, use with caution because some of you may get PTSD. So like, mm, think about it. And the main thing is focus on the horrible feeling, the loneliness or the meaninglessness after nut which will prevent you from nutting without purpose or you, you should do something random like just change up your routine and this will dis disrupt your cooming habits so like normally after you, you have dinner like if 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 you have the habit of cooming after dinner you might even go out for a walk and then that might stop you from having those ideas altogether